I will start staining my new wheel. Um, I decided to get it where it was not finished. It's because that way I can just do a coat of Danish oil on it to bring the best portion of the maple wood that they created off. It's a beautiful, beautifully handcrafted wheel. So this way I can just kind of do a little touch on my own that will add a little bit of spice to it. Anyway, here we go. We'll see how it goes. I hope you can see the first coat of oil has gone in. It's starting to look really pretty. So look at that. Actually it does bring the most pretty portion of the maple out. I love the details of the burnt honeybees. Uh, you can see that it looks a lot better. So I guess I'm doing a good job. Keep going, almost done. I have to do the base and then the bobbins and then I should be done. So here's the base of it without varnish at all. So you can see it's kind of light. Here is the wheel portion of it with the, the first coat of varnish and you can see how much more pretty that looks. So no varnish, varnish. I'm not sure if I'm doing the second coat yet. Okay, so everything has had it, a second coat, including my uh, Swift. I decided at the last minute to give it one more coat. It's a different type of, type of wood, so it didn't take the same color. So as you can see, it's different color. But anyway, there's my jumbo uh, bobbin, my two small bobbins, uh, the things that attach to the pedals, my jumbo flyer, my actual wheel, which looks great. Here is the base of the wheel. Uh, there is my tumbler and then the two little caps that cover the screws that attach the base to the actual wheel. So the wheel itself looks amazing. I just two coats of natural Danish uh, oil um, it took about I want to say 10-15 minutes to do each part with an old t-shirt let it dry for about an hour and a half do the second coat now I'm gonna have to let the second coat dry completely for about four hours probably more we live in Arizona, so it's 93 degrees outside. I did it in my husband's little garage uh, that, as you can tell, it's not a garage because we don't put our cars in there. It's more of like his workout area where his. But anyway, uh, I decided to do it here so it will be hotter. It is hotter in here. It is about 98 degrees with probably 2% humidity. So I'm letting it dry out. I'm hoping that it will be completely dry within the next three hours. It gives me time to go read a book that I've been waiting for for over a year and it's finally out on Kindle so I can go read it. And then I'll put my wheel together and then you get to see me spin. Anyway, this has been a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Talk to you guys later. Bye. This wheel spins like a dream. Love Just this wheel. Love it.